Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. While it's said that neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night will prevent the, the U.S. Postal Service from delivering mail, that's not entirely true after a massive snowstorm. If a mailbox is not cleared of snow or steps leading to a house are icy, the mail carriers may not deliver mail. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. You can ask to pick up your mail at the post office. If you are going out of town, management might accommodate you, but they will not do it if you just want your mail early. It's not a good idea to stop your carrier on the route. Rural carriers may have letters and flats together, but city carriers do not. Take our lead. Tipping the mail carrier may be the most common practice that's technically against the law. Federal regulations forbid postal employees from accepting cash or cash equivalents. That includes that Visa gift card, although they can accept gifts worth $20 or less. Tipping municipal workers can also be fraught. Make your mark, take our lead. File a complaint with the U.S. Postal Service. Use the USPS website's email us form. Call 1-800-ASK-USPS-1-800-275-8777 or TTY 1-800-877-8339. Speak to the station manager, postmaster, at a local post office. Write to the U.S. Postal Service's Consumer Advocate Office at Make your mark, take our lead. 13. They actually don't have to deliver your mail. In extreme cases, the post office can actually require customers to get a post office box and pick up mail themselves. Anything which presents a hazard to the carrier, the carrier is within his rights to not deliver the mail. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.